What's happening? 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 Welcome to the Chosen Not Taking Show. I am your host, Real Roy, aka Chosen Not Taking. Choose your life. Don't just take what it gives you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show your boss some love. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm doing it from my truck today, y'all. I ain't had time to be in my in my microphone, things like that. But look here, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Did I say that? I'm gonna say it again. Anyway, so some people been jumping in my DM and they've been like, Roy, you've been single for almost seven years. You not dating? Like, why you not dating? Why you not dating? Everybody wanna know why old Roy Roy is not dating. They wanna know why Chosen Not Taking is not dating. And they be wanna know, like, what, what seems to be the problem? There's no problem. Let me say that again. There's no problem. And another thing, too, I'm not disrespectful in no kind of shape, form, or fashion to women. I'm not here womanizing. I'm not here running through women like that. That's not what I'm on. It's just that I've just came to the conclusion. Just be real. At this stage of my life, I'm focused. I'm locked in. I know that family is beautiful. I know that love is a beautiful thing. I'm not saying that it's not. But what I'm saying is, is that even when I think about even like kind of getting serious with people in today's time, people just are different. You know, I'm like this self. And it's just real. I'm just venting to my people today. I'm just venting. This is how I am. I'm like this self. I'm single, you single. You don't have no reason to lie to me. You don't have no reason to run no game on me. Because we're both single, baby. I'm not even going to ask you questions that boyfriends should ask. I'm just being real. I'm going to prepare to see exactly where we can go. Like, you know, what the credit score look like, baby. You know what I'm saying? Is everything good? Are you in debt like student loans? Let me know what's up because me and you might be together. But I'm not going to go for the no answer, no the phone. I'm not going to go for the, the lying. Cause you ain't got no reason to lie to me. What you lying to me for? I ain't, I ain't your man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just telling you that now. I'm not gonna lie to you, and you ain't gonna lie to me. And another thing with me is too, I'm loyal. You know what I'm saying? Even though you're not my old lady, I'm gonna respect you. Yeah, that's big. See, I'm like this here. I just look at how people prepare for things to let me know how they do things. Let me say it again. I look at how people prepare for things that lets me know how you do things. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. Like if you talking to somebody, you talking to somebody, and they moving in a good way, calling every day, texting, responding. They let you know that they're preparing for the consistency that comes along with a relationship. But on contrary, if you talking to somebody and they barely responding, they're barely talking to you. They not answering the phone when you call. They're not preparing to be with you. They not preparing to be with you. They just being 100. They are not preparing to be with you because people that like you and that are preparing to be with you, they answer your phone call. They don't want you to feel neglected in any kind of shape, form, or fashion. Even if y'all not together, they're going to show some signs of some consistency to show what it's going to be like to be with them. <laughs> Excuse my son is stacking up, but that's just what it is. You know, you you can't you can't sit around here. You can't sit around here and think somebody want to be with you and you ain't talk to them in three days. You can't sit around here and think they want you when they only want to call you when they trying to get felt on. They go for men and women because it's some women using men and it's some men using women out here physically. Just being honest with you. Don't think that you excluded male or female. You got to understand that how you prepare for something is how you're going to do something. That's just being real. Like, if you ever notice, you practice like you play in sports. If you practice with, well, more than likely you're going to play well. So when you're dating somebody or getting to know somebody, if they're practicing good habits when y'all are just dating, when y'all get in a real relationship, they're going to be the same way. Some might change. I'm not saying all, that's always correct. Some might change, but the majority of the time, they're going to be who they're going to be. They're going to be who they be. And that's the reason why, it, like me being single, has been so, so amazing for me is because I accept people for who they are. And when they show me who they are, I believe them. And I'm not saying there's no good women out here. I'm not saying I haven't passed up on good women. But the majority of the time, I can really truly say that I've dodged bullets. I'm just being all the way transparent. I've dodged bullets. I'm just being real. Majority of the time, I can really look back at it and be like, I, just, I dodged bullets. I dodged bullets, man. I really did. That's how I feel. I feel like I dodged a bunch of bullets. Because after I look at it, after I slow down and I look at the situation, we wasn't meant to be, be together in the first place. That's just being real. That's not. That's nothing against them. 
it's the fact of the matter. It's the compatibility. It's the comp compatibility. It's 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 the it's to see are we compatible for our future? I got flaws. I'm not I'm not acting like I'm perfect. I got flaws, but I can promise you this: if a woman that I'm dealing with sees a flaw in me and brings it to my attention, I promise you. I, I, first of all, I'm not gonna deal with nobody that's not gonna say anything good or say anything about critique me in any kind of way that's not good for me. I don't even deal with people like that. So if she come to me and say, Roy, I don't like this, I don't like that, I'm gonna talk to her about it. See what I, so see what we can do to fix it, and we're gonna roll with it. That's just what it is, man. You know, so what I'm saying is is that when it comes to dating, man, dating is a beautiful thing. I'm not against it, but you gotta, you know. Come on, man. Make it interesting. Like, get you somebody that's really going to be consistently at you. Ain't nobody that busy where they don't want to talk to you. Ain't nobody that busy where they don't want to talk to you. Just being honest with you. It's nobody that busy to where they can't talk to you and no kind of shit for them fast. You know what I'm saying? Because if that's the case, they'll never be with nobody. But if you look up, y'all stop talking, they're going to start talking to somebody else. So don't believe that. So look, man. Be true to yourself. Know exactly who you're dealing with. Know exactly what you did, what you're dealing with. So that's my rant for the day, man. We dropping some more content later on today. You know what it is. Your boy Real Roy, aka Chosen. I take it. Choose your life. Don't just take what it gives you. And that's all I got for today, man. Y'all make sure y'all lock in, tap in, do all that. Yeah, somebody called me while I'm making this video. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to ignore it. But anyway. Got three days before I go. God loves you. I love you. Keep loving each other. The world can be a better place. One love.